on today's episode on Warp Drive M, we are going to start working on this one. We have in the garage a Volkswagen Golf 5. This is 1.4 uh, gas engine, 2005, two-door car. Um, we have the winter uh, wheels on and everything is basic and but it's in a very good shape going on the inside we have a basic uh, golf 5 everything is basic and original nothing broken the good part is that the car doesn't have too much kilometers so the car starts, as you can see, we have some grinding noises from the engine, but we are going uh, uh, in a moment in there and we have just 159,000 kilometers. That's not, uh, not much kilometers. We have a burned light, we can uh, check that. We have a radio that is not working. So it doesn't matter which one you want to use but it's not working oops nothing so we have to check that on the back we have lights in there we have lights in there oh we have a burn lamp in here that's why we have that light now let's put the window down On the engine side, this is uh, one of the few project cars that it's really clean. Not a single drop of oil nowhere. The car seems to be perfect. We have a grinding noise from the um, that from that pulley. I'm not really sure which one. The alternator, the climate compressor, something in there is making a grinding noise. The car runs perfect. And now, what's wrong with the car? Car is running. We have a good idle, a normal idle, no error whatsoever. Third, floor it completely on the floor. 60. Oh my god, there is no power whatsoever. I'm already in the fourth gear. I'm flooring it, I'm flooring it, I'm flooring it. None. And 70 is stuck in here 80 and there is no error whatsoever so this is a strange one now let's uh, drive home put the scanner to see if we have something make a visual check and after that maybe we will find something First problem, we don't have any kind of codes. Now let's uh, do a visual check. If you can read in a coffee cup, uh, I mean a spark plug, um, we can start um, seeing that uh, this engine is running lean, very lean. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Hmm. Let's bring up the big guns. Let's uh, check some values. It's idling and uh, we have an engine load of 25%. That's a little bit too much. 
And from here on, it should be interesting. These are the O2 sensors, 1.5 volts, okay. We have 155 degrees on the cat. A sensor correction. Oh my god, that's a bad value. We have a bad value in here and an engine load too much on uh, idle. So this might be our problem. Um, I've checked the temperature is almost uh, at 90 degrees and there is no change whatsoever. Neither in the voltage or in the regulation or, uh, or in the correction. And if we give it some gas No change whatsoever, so this might be our problem. Now with the O2 sensor out, we are going to do um, a small test uh, in order to find out if this one is bad or not. We are going to cut the the plug out because i have an o2 sensor uh, that is a test one and we are going to try to find out if this is the problem test uh, sensor installed as you can see i've cut in here and the plug fits perfectly in there now let's measure some values i selected in here on this screen just uh, o2 sensor one and two uh, the temperature for the cat uh, o2s are ready or not and now we have the same values on both banks uh, on both uh, sensor one and two uh, that like i said the temperature for the cat and we have uh, values that are working now first test drive after replacing the o2 sensor and no change whatsoever into driving this car there is no power whatsoever as you can see I'm flooring it and I barely have 80 kilometers so this mean uh, one thing uh, the cat is uh, blocked or the exhaust we have to check that test 500 I'm not really sure um, I unplug the connector for the O2 sensor here in the front and in the back we are going to drive the car now in order to set some factory values uh, and in order to see if the car uh, has a different uh, driving mode and if not we are going to start uh, removing exhaust parts in order to see if stuff, something is blocked or not we have immediately the check engine light because we don't have any kind of o2 sensor we are in the third gear Let's see, floor it. Not really much has changed, so nothing. Even with the stock uh, values from the computer, we don't have any kind of uh, improvement in the driving mode. No, I'm flooring it. 80, 90, maybe a little bit better, but it's nothing. Okay, let's go back and now uh, let's start removing uh, exhaust parts in order to see if something is blocked. With all the O2 sensor plugged back in, this one and the other one, we remove the exhaust. We have one cat in here and we have one cat in here. So with O2 sensor back, we are going to try to see if this one is free. And we are going to drive the car now with the exhaust open to see if there is a change or not. And again, I'm stuck somewhere uh, around 80, 90 kilometers. So there is no power whatsoever. And as you can saw in the previous footage, I've ended up removing the cat and there is uh, a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff in the cat. I've cleaned as much as I could, um, I put everything back and we are going to drive now once again and if the car runs normal we are going to order a new cat. But now let's drive the car to see if uh, that was the culprit, that uh, white stuff from the cat was clogged uh, in there. Normal start, let's go. Ok, 
okay I cannot really see in a few meters now that we have an engine temperature we can try to see if the car is driving better uh, I'm in the fourth gear let's give it a third oh yeah yes you can see how the speed is uh, climbing fourth gear I'm already at 100 now the car drives way better not normal but way better and I can um, accelerate in the fifth uh, gear before you couldn't accelerate in not in the third gear now the car drives way better so now we know that the cat is clogged we can order a new one just to be transparent as you can see in here we drove the car with the old um, cat and everything is mounted like the O2 sensor and everything I just clean it from the last time and we noticed that the car is driving way better way better and uh, I didn't done anything I just clean it so we know for a fact that this one is clogged we have one on order we have the new uh, O2 sensor in the back and uh, on order as well because I cut the plug in order to test with a, a good one in the next episode we are going to try to see what the uh, heck is making that grinding noise in here we are going to um, check the timing uh, belt as well and of course replace the cat for more progress join me on the next episode uh, if you like this episode please give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video as usual thumbs down until next time see you later <music>